Mr. Tiffany. Uh, Mr. Mayorkas, Mayorkas uh, in 2021, last year, um, at a Senate hearing, you said everyone that came out of Afghanistan, the disastrous pullout of Afghanistan, that they were fully vetted. Do you stand by that comment? Yes, we, um, we conducted comprehensive uh, security screening and vetting uh, for those Afghan, uh, Afghanis. Okay, thank you. Um, here's a headline from last year. Second major felon found on Afghan evacuation flight aggravated robbery by one, the other one, a rapist, they had been deported, they came back in on those flights. Um, here's a CNN document uh, that says, some Afghans fleeing their home country have arrived in the United States without paperwork. It goes on to say, the approach from the administration has been get as many people on the plane as you can and we'll sort out the immigration stuff later. Some people land with no documents whatsoever, creating a very challenging work environment for the officers, the source said. Did you fully vet everyone? Uh, Congressman, as I have stated before, we conducted comprehensive security and vetting screening of the individuals who arrived here under Operation Allies Welcome. We're extraordinarily proud uh, of that program. So you did not vet them before they uh, left the Kabul airport? Uh, Congressman, we um, did what we you did is vet we, them uh, before they left the Kabul airport? Uh, Congressman, we did not. What we did okay, is thank we, you very much. What we did is we vetted them. So let's at third countries. So let's at third let's, countries. Um, that's let's, not so what with, that's not what uh, DHS and the uh, camp commander said in Fort McCoy. They well, said they were still vetting people after they arrived, already had parole when they're in Fort McCoy in my state, Wisconsin. I want to continue with another question let me, here. Let me share with you how Last the month, and the Department of works. Defense Inspector General confirmed at least 50 cases of Afghans with potential significant security concerns. The IG report also concluded the administration has absolutely no idea where most of them are. Did you fully vet those 50 that have potential significant security concerns. Congressman, two quick points, if I may. Did Number you one. did you vet them? Congressman, may I answer You said your... you vetted all of we, them. We screened and vetted, and I am familiar. Screening with... and vetting are different. How many people completed the SIV process, the special immigrant visa process, which is very detailed, especially when you're dealing with a country that is very high on the terror list, how many of them completed, of the 77,000, how many completed the SIV process? I can get that precise figure to you. I look forward to hearing that can from I, you because that something? would be a really interesting thing to hear. Can I explain You're very something? familiar with Title VIII. You know Title VIII, right? Section 5A. This shall be used only on a case-by-case -case basis for urgent humanitarian reasons or significant public benefit. In 1989, in a floor speech, Democrat, Representative Morrison from Connecticut. Congress intended that the parole authority would be used for temporary admission of individual aliens. Parole status is an unacceptable alternative to a more permanent and defined immigration status. Senator Simpson repeated the same thing in 1994. In 2008, your agency, USCIS, ICE, CBP, Memorandum of Agreement, Parole is not to be used to circumvent normal visa processes and timelines. Are you complying with Title VIII and the INA? We believe we are. You believe you are? Yes. Even though, even though this is meant to be done on a case-by-case -case basis, did you interview all 77,000? Uh, of the um, Afghan, Afghan evacuees? Did you interview every one of them? Uh, did I personally, or did the Department of Homeland Security personnel? Yeah, did you do it yes, on a case-by-case -case basis and interview every one of them? Uh, Congressman, those individuals were screened uh, in third countries, not at Kabul airport for reasons that, of course, you well understand. Let's They're screened and vetted in third countries. They are then manifested on but the plane. But they weren't because They're many of them were vetted. screened in the United States at Fort McCoy in Wisconsin. Congressman. Did you fully vet everyone you paroled from Afghanistan? I believe the answer is no. And so think about let it. Me. Think about it for a second. Here's a document you gave us this week. This is the grand plan. Biden administration, DHS, executing a comprehensive and deliberate strategy to secure our borders, build a safe, orderly, and humane immigration system. What is humane about people being sexually abused by these parolees? How about the woman at Fort Bliss, a soldier, female soldier, beat to a pulp 
by five evacuees. Is that humane? Congressman, of course that isn't, and that is... You have is erased addressed. our border. Time of the gentleman that has expired, your, Mr. That is, Magoos. That is addressed with the Mr. full Mr. Magoos. force. Mr. Chairman. Time of the gentleman has expired, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Magoos. May I complete my Chairman? answer? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'll be brief. Mr. Chairman. I, no, Mr. 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 Chairman, the witness be permitted to answer his question. Mr. Magoos. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Marcus, would you care to respond to that last question? Like? Uh, that, um, that incident was met, met with the full force of law enforcement uh, response. And I should say that the, um, the congressman um, misunderstands the screening and vetting process and the fact that it is a recurrent process. Even while the individual is in the United States, we conduct recurrent screening and vetting. Uh, as a further layer of security. Thank you, Congressman, for giving me that chance. Thank you.